Wave. I just got back from the feed store and look what I found. I had to pay extra for those two on top. I hope it was worth it. Look. Back up. Back up and look at the camera. Hey, I got another sharp one head to use as it was. So what's the problem with the door? So we got this squeaky door that doesn't close automatically and we need to fix that because the chickens won't stay in. So we got a bit of chain about five feet long. We used a pair of pliers to open up one end of the chain. And then we used just a, well, it's just a drywall screw and a fender washer and a drill. And then we needed some counterweights. And Daniel, I mean, well, Daniel and Jeremiah, they found these shovel heads. Uh, we go through about two shovels a year around here. But we're just going to take a, a screw and screw it directly into the wooden door. And that's how we're going to attach it to the door. And I just barely got my fingers out of the way before Jeremiah smushed them all. Um, thankfully, I didn't get too hurt. He almost couldn't reach it, could he? But he did a really good job. Super proud of all my kids. They're such great helpers. This other end we're going to attach to the cockatoo flight cage with that open end. It's like a hook that we opened up. Now this cockatoo, he, he can undo most things. With that beak, it's like a pair of pliers. He just can undo a lot of things. So I'm gonna take the pliers, the, these actual pliers, not the bird beak, and I'm gonna wrap that hook back around the way that it was, but I accidentally snapped off the little end. So we're gonna give it a while and see how long that lasts, but I think it's gonna work just fine. Mostly I think he'll just ignore it. But we got this length of chain and it's long enough so that when we open the door that it will open completely. And then we're going to do the counterweights to help close it. And that's going to work really well. So I've got these two using zip ties and a big hook to attach the shovels to the chain. I asked them to find a counterweight and this is what they came up with so I just let them go with it. Now I believe that if you use enough zip ties that you can fix just about anything and thankfully Jeremiah has picked up on that and he he's using enough isn't he? Look at that. Looks like a, an octopus with tentacles coming off of it. Some kind of squid or something. But he's using enough zip ties that thing's probably never going to come apart. automatically. Here's a lock that you put some to this screw on. Here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but this one. This one that we can go down. This one. And this goes, and this wire goes around this. And this is the lock. This should be automatically closing just And uses lots of zip ties and two sample heads, sample head, and there's a extra sample head, and some of these same stuff. It's connected to the cage that they put in, and it's done pretty dope. 
And that's it. This is all I'm going to show you. Say on your finger. Bye. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe, like, give us a comment, and share this on whatever social media platform you are most likely to share something. Facebook works really good for me. God bless you. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.